A couple of questions about the Northern Ireland Protocol. Um, we can't afford a trade war, can we, when, at a time like this? And that, that's looking increasingly likely if you go ahead with the legislation being proposed. I don't think that is likely, but what we have to fix is the uh, the problems with the, the Northern Ireland uh, political situation, where you can't get the executive up and running uh, right now. Uh, in the past, we've done all sorts of things to to fix that. We need to address the problems with the uh, with the protocol. Um, what that actually involves is getting rid of some uh, relatively minor barriers to to trade, and uh, I think there are good commonsensical, pragmatic solutions. We need to work with our EU friends to, to achieve it. Despite your visit yesterday, you haven't convinced the DUP, have you? I think that it's, in, it's important that all political parties uh, who uh, believe in the government of, of Northern Ireland uh, get back round the table and, uh, and get Stormont up and running. Northern Ireland's got amazing opportunity now. That, Parts of the Northern Irish economy are going really, really well. What they need is leadership. They need uh, their politicians to focus on the things that matter to the people of Northern Ireland. The Governor of the Bank of England said yesterday he feels helpless. Do you feel helpless? No, I think that this country has uh, got a, a fantastic future. And if you look at just at, at, at what uh, some of the data that we're seeing now, uh, it's so unlike previous economic problems in the, in, in the UK. Unemployment, which was, you know, you know, you're younger than me, but when we were kids, unemployment was the thing that was so devastating. In the 80s and the 90s, millions of people were on the scrap heap. You've now got unemployment at the lowest levels since 1974. Now, what we've got to do is make sure that we fix some, I think, short term global inflation issues caused by. Uh, coming out of the pandemic, particularly on supply chains, particularly on the cost of energy. But we have the fixes. We're putting in uh, the energy supply, the, the British energy security strategy that we need. Plus, because of the, the strength of the UK economy coming out of COVID, we're going to continue to support people through the, uh, through the choppy period. But we will get through it in, in, in very good shape. Just going back to the, the Northern Ireland Treaty, how, how can you justify breaking a treaty you signed? I think the, 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 the prior, the higher a duty of the UK government is to, uh, in international law, is to the Good Friday uh, Agreement and the peace process, and I, that's the that's the the thing we have to uh, really look to. And uh, of necessity, we can make some changes. I think to uh, the protocol, which is not the law of the Medes and the Persians. It's I, you know I, I I agree. It's there in Article thirteen point eight that if things aren't working, uh, you can change it. Uh, plus, it makes it very clear on the face of the text that uh, you should ensure the uh, east-west trade and the integrity of the UK internal market. So let's fix it. Uh, we don't want to nix it. We want to fix it. And we want to work with our EU partners to do it.